research is something that really fascinates me because you're at a, really at the forefront of discovery. I think it's a good opportunity to hone not just technical skills but also to gain experience reaching out to people. We started back in 2010. The school has been growing year on year and this year we had the largest cohort of students in. We also did a couple of new things this year and the first was our Student Innovation Challenge. So this is an initiative which encourages students to think innovatively about the research. We're looking for how can you as students use your brain power to come up with some of the solutions around healthcare. I've called this the exercise factor. So your challenge is to develop an innovation to increase the physical activity levels of sedentary teenage girls. It has to do with HIV, some drug or drug delivery system that eliminates the daily requirement to swallow the medication. This actually will be a complete game changer. So we've had 119 people, and from that we had 26 ideas. From those 26 ideas, those were whittled down into 14 companies. Good evening everyone, my name is Charmy, and my team and I decided to explore breast cancer and developed a diagnostic algorithm to detect these cells early on, which have the potential to develop resistance against AI therapy. Uh, so my name is uh, Addy and I'm part of Team Vibrates. What we're doing is we're trying to address increasing adherence of patients to HIV therapies. Our idea is to have a vibrating and time pill dispenser that will be disguised as some sort of normal accessory that's found in daily life such as your phone and your watch. So the name of our initiative is Ireland's Fittest Schools, a peer-led initiative to promote physical activity in teenage girls. So our app at its simplest level will be a school-based app that monitors physical activity. It's incredible for, for us as a, as a judging panel to see the inventive and creative solutions that you guys have managed to come up with. But the team that we felt had the greatest potential and that is worthy of winning the RCSI Student Innovation Medal for 2017 is Team Proactive. It feels like a long day but we all agreed that as the day went on we became more and more confident in our idea and it started to develop more. I think the structure of the programme helped us to like refine all ideas, especially when you exchange um, ideas with everyone. Research gave me an opportunity to apply what I have learned in the classroom. You get to present your research at various conferences. That's when you actually get to you know, answer questions and I think that's the part where you actually learn the most. We finished today then with our wrap-up symposium. We had 18 presentations from our students and once more the standard was phenomenal. I'm here today to tell you about uh, my research summer school experience, my project, the development of a process map of the patient journey in ADHD. I learned a lot about ADHD in this project, a lot about various different types of research methods I'd never seen before. Antimicrobial resistance is a huge threat to mankind and we are going to tackle it by looking at two different aspects. The first aspect is bacteria's insatiable thirst for iron. The second aspect is recognizing bismuth for its antimicrobial properties. In 2011, the HSE implemented the universal newborn hearing screening. Now my study shows that UNHS decreases age of referral and age of cochlear implantation. This means that the earlier the cochlear nerve is stimulated, the better the functional outcomes. Our students are just fantastic with the way they fully engage with what they're doing. So I think overall we've had another phenomenally successful year. In eight weeks, I managed to do so much that I would not think I would have done in my entire six years here in RCSI. For me, it was wonderful to actually just see a future colleague of mine grow in confidence. It really um, pushes you to get out of your comfort zone and really think about issues that people face every day.